Our other big story, the latest return to normalcy. Governor Whitmer delivering her state of the state in front of a packed legislature in person for the first time since before the pandemic. Our team is standing by with reaction and analysis to the speech, but first let's give you a quick recap of what she had to say. The governor making her way through a crowd of lawmakers for the first time since 2019 to deliver her fifth state of the state, the first of her second term, this one in front of a legislature controlled by her party. The state of our state is strong and ready to go. The governor touching on a number of big issues, many designed at lowering costs and creating jobs, proposing the Lowering My Costs Act, which would roll back the retirement tax and expand the working families tax credit, a move she says is righting a wrong. In 2011, seniors and hardworking families had the rug ripped out from under them when the retirement tax was enacted and the working families tax credit was gutted. It was wrong. And now we can make it right. She also wants to expand the Great Start Readiness Program and make preschool accessible to all four-year-olds in Michigan, a move she says would help parents return to work and create jobs in the classroom. She also wants to lower the age for Michigan Reconnect Program down to 21. Governor Whitmer also touching on two hot button issues, gun control and abortion. She wants lawmakers to pass universal background checks, safe storage laws, and extreme risk protections to keep guns away from people who might harm themselves or others. Despite pleas from Oxford families, these issues never even got a hearing in the last legislature. This year, let's change that. Let's work together to stop the violence and to save lives. The governor also called for the repeal of our state's 1931 law banning abortion. But she didn't stop there when it comes to reproductive and civil rights. Let's repeal other dangerous laws prohibiting people from accessing reproductive health care or shaming them for seeking in the first place. Let's repeal outdated laws restricting who you can marry. Let's expand the Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act so you can't be fired or evicted for who you are or how you identify or who you love. That's your business. The governor also touted the progress made on fixing the roads and called for Michigan to invest in the state's plan to combat climate change. And she ended her speech with a call to come together. Let's show everyone that the cure for cynicism is competence. Let's lead by example as a state of hardworking, happy warriors. Well, State Senator Eric Nesbitt gave the Republican response to the governor's speech. He gave his talk from a grocery store, saying too many Michiganders are struggling to buy what's needed. Nesbitt criticized Whitmer for what he calls her track record of wanting to lower taxes, but not delivering. Republicans want to take the governor's claim that she is finally ready to lower taxes seriously. But actions speak louder than words. And for the past four years, her actions have been of someone who wants to take money out of your pocket not put any money back in. Remember, she began her tenure as governor by proposing a gas tax increase of 45 cents per gallon and increasing taxes on small businesses by 40%. The governor says all the right things about working across the aisle, but the truth is that she set a record during her first term for vetoing bills, many which Republicans and Democrats worked together to pass. More v Despite the criticism, Nesbitt says Republicans in both chambers of the legislature will keep trying to work with this governor.